And let's talk about the keys of the kingdom of God. These are not physical keys, but spiritual ones that unlock the doors of blessings and opportunities in our lives. Matthew uh, chapter 16, verse 19 states, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. This means that when we align ourselves with God's will and use the keys of faith, trust, and obedience, we have the power to unlock heavenly blessings in our lives. So what are these keys? Well, some of them are faith, trust, and obedience. See, when we have faith in God's plan for our lives, trust in his timing and obey his commands, we are giving access to doors that lead to our destinies. Others are the principles, precepts, laws, and rules and systems by which the kingdom functions. And others are keys of authority to bind and loose. Keys must be learned and applied by the citizens in order to appropriate the benefits and privileges of the kingdom. Because Peter was the first to confess the revelation of Jesus Christ, he got his commission before the rest of the disciples. And with these keys, on the day of Pentecost, he was the first to open the door of faith to the Jews, and then in the person of Cornelius to the Gentiles. Hence, in the list of the apostles, Peter is always named first, but this was not purpose to elevate Peter above the rest of the apostles. The authority not only belonged to Peter, but to all who share in this proclamation of Jesus' identity as the Son of God. And that includes you and I.